Hello everyone, this is Bob Daly from Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at how to integrate AdMob into an Android application. You know, how to integrate the AdMob uh, ad unit into your application. Uh, what is an AdMob? AdMob is a mobile advertising company owned by Google to serve over more than 40 billion mobile banner and text ads across mobile websites and mobile applications you know just like uh the way ads are being served to uh your your blog you know through uh, google uh, ads and also to uh, uh youtube where you get to see adverts uh before your video that is if you actually monetize your content so you can as well uh serve ads to mobile applications by when the application is being launched uh, you can see different hard units, maybe as a banner, or uh, or as uh, or as a full page in your uh, in your in your mobile application. So I'll be taking you through on how to actually integrate uh, an ad mob unit into your mobile application. Uh, so uh, without much uh, ado, I would like to. Okay, I'll take you straight to the AdMob website. Uh, you can access that uh, in your in your preferred web browser uh, by, by visiting this URL link www.google.com forward slash AdMob A-D-M-O-B no? So I'm right there in the AdMob website. So for you to be able to get yourself uh, going with AdMob, you need to sign into AdMob. And AdMob actually is from Google, as you all know, just like uh, YouTube, just like Gmail and um, Google AdSense. So uh, all these applications are using one sign-in, which is your Gmail, your Gmail ID. So once you've been able to uh, register or, or join up the Google uh, community just with your uh, Gmail, you get uh, synchronized to all this platform. You know, you don't really have to sign up all over again. Once you have a Gmail account. You can sign it to YouTube, you can sign it to uh, AdSense, you can sign it to all that Google uh, platforms. Okay, uh, I would like to sign it into AdMob. Into AdMob. Alright, since I have uh, a, good, a Gmail account. So, uh, at the far right corner, if you notice, you can see your publisher ID so with the PUB. Uh, iPhone and uh, some codes here, yeah, some uh, digits. Uh, this is my own publisher ID. Okay, you, you you have a unique one for your own. You know when you log in into uh, uh, the AdMob's uh, website, you know this is going to be generated. It's going to be assigned to each user. All right. So we're going to create an ad unit. Okay. I'm off to monetize. All right. Just select an app. Okay, we're going to add your app manually since we don't have it in the Google stores uh, or the iTunes. So I need to add this manually. So what's the name of our ad? It's going to be Ad Mob Banner. Okay, what platform are we developing for? Android. So I, add, I need to add up the application. Okay. Select ad format and name and the ad unit. Okay, we're going to select banner. This is going to be banner. Okay, okay. The ad type is text image. Fine, you know, this kind of small banner. The refresh rate is 60 seconds while the text ad style is standard. Okay. The ad unit name, let us say uh, top banner. Okay, Let's save it. Uh, if you can notice, you can see your ad unit ID. You know, what is an ad unit ID? An ad unit ID is a unique identifier given to places in your application where ads are displayed. If you had you no know, uh, an app with two activities, you know, for example, each displaying a banner, you know, you you you'll be given or you'd assign two ad units, you know, each with its own 
a specific ID, you no. Know? So it always starts with the CA hyphen app hyphen pub, you no. Know? I actually like you to save this in a text editor because you're going to be using uh, the app unit in the course of the application. So after this, we've been able to create an app unit and we'll move further to uh, uh, coding on uh, actually integrating the app banner into our Android application. Stay tuned.